Hey guys. Hi guys. All right, so I'm really excited about today because I've been waiting for these to hit the mailbox for a long time. This is something I cannot wait to collect. This is what I'm starting to collect. Something mm -hmm. that DC Collectibles is now doing that when I saw them drop the information on this, I was like, yes, that is something I cannot wait to collect. And that is Batman cows. Statues, basically. Batman cows. <laughs> more Batman stuff for more to collect. <laughs> That's Lord. right. So I've been collecting the Batman black and white line for a while now, and I have 60. Oh, you have a lot. I have no idea what Ish. number. <laughs> 60 -ish. And they actually just hit 100 this year. Their 100th one is really? coming out. Yeah. So you... Well, well, I think we have over half. Well, we have like another 10 coming or whatever, like on pre-order that's coming like later in the year. So we have most of them, not all of them. Don't you all but... love how I find out some of this stuff on camera? <laughs> but this is the new thing I'm collecting, okay? These are cows, and I think these are great because my vision one day is having a basement and turning it into a bat cave. And I think these would be super sick in a glass case with like one light over all the heads. And the yeah, dark. they would be really cool. Sick. So, uh, yeah, we have two of them in there. I have the Rebirth Batman cow. And you have the Arkham Asylum cow, which that one looks much bigger. You can see the box there. Well, I mean, look much how bigger. tall his ears yeah. are. In his this ears picture. are tall, yeah. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and open mine up first. Okay. Uh, San Diego Comic Con was this week, and we got to see some new ones coming out, which, my God, I'm excited. They have a Red Sun Batman one coming out. Really? Amazing. Cool. So, yeah, I mean, they got Azrael coming out. They got a lot of good stuff. They even have the uh, Christian Bale one coming out. Ooh, show that's what I want. Yeah. So these are numbered to 5,000, and you get a certificate of authenticity right out of the box here which I have 1,144 of 5,000. That's a pretty big number for these, so I think yeah. most people are going to be able to uh, to buy these. Don't look for them to sell out immediately. We don't have a proper knife, so yeah. I actually couldn't get through it. So Oops. I'm going to... We, we have a letter opener, yeah, We have guys. a letter opener. <laughs> we have the, uh, the Batman uh, Katana letter opener. <laughs> so whatever so uh yeah again these are priced exactly the same as batman black and white statues so you can sort of uh pick and choose what you want or, or pick both oh and, it's so much smaller than i anticipated well it's a good size these are actually a fantastic size because they're not going to take up too much room they're no bigger than a black and white why was i in my mind thinking bat cow full size <laughs> oh no i wouldn't have room that for box. that wouldn't have room for that, but okay, there we go. Look at that thing. The thing is sick. It's, it's heavy too. It has a, it has some weight to it, so this feels quality basically, and it has big padding on the bottom of it. It's so, super creepy though I without a mouth. You think so? Yes. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess maybe they could have just put a mouth on all of I them, mean, but I kind of like it. Look at that. Them. It's just like an endless hole, like an endless pit. That is a hole in there. That's kind of creepy, guys. That's <laughs> like, it's like Joker just ripped his mouth out or something. It's really strange. But I do really like the size of them. You gotta, yeah. I mean, no, I like the size. You I can like, get multiple ones. I like those, yeah. Base is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love that uh, texture in it. It's kind of weathered looking mm -hmm. too. And then that it front looks plate. Like steel. Yeah, the front plate has a steel look to it. It's not, it's not steel. It's just mm -hmm. a plastic look to it. It's painted that way. It says rebirth, so you know what cow that is. And the sculpt is done really well. The airbrushing, the paint on it is done really well. Mm -hmm. um, just overall, that's that's really great. This is a that's fun so cool. thing to collect. So if you're just a basic Batman fan that wants a cow, maybe can't afford to have the giant cows because those are expensive, like seven hundred dollars. And they take up a lot of room. More importantly, I mean, you can't yeah. you can't put you know whatever they're gonna go. We're I think we're up to eight now that are coming out. So if you guys are thinking about jumping into this collection, I think there's enough coming out now where it warrants the price because it means they're gonna yeah. continue to do it. So, I want to open mine because I want to see how creepy it looks okay, right now. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Again, this is the Arkham Ooh, Asylum bag. Guess what number we are. I don't know. 33 of 5,000. Oh, wow. 33. Low number. Yeah. Low number. Now, these are cardstock, so they're actually pretty thick. So, if, I don't know what you'd ever do with these, but if you want them, you can have them. You can put them underneath the if statue. people fake them, I guess you could fake that. Oh, it'd be kind of hard to do, I suppose. But. All right, duh. Get your shit. Oh, that's the bottom. Hold on. These are pretty cool. It's creepy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they are cool. I have good taste, don't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You married me. <laughs> <laughs> dun, da, da, da. Okay, yeah, that one's much taller than this one. But he should be. I don't want to, like, break the ears, so I'm trying to be super gentle. But the ears are actually thicker mm -hmm. than I anticipated. They're thicker than they look in the game, too, I yeah. think. Yeah. I that think makes they're sense. thicker than the box, too, but... Oh, cool. that's heavy. This is super cool. I, the only thing is, it's it's a lot heavier than I had expected. It's very thick all the way across, so it's kind of hard if you want to grab it by that. So you really have to pick it up by the base. Mm -hmm. But I like the 
this one. I think it's cool. It's not as creepy without a mouth. They're scaled properly, though. Yeah. Although, this one looks kind of like Joker's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So, this is, it's interesting. I like it. I like how you can kind of see, like, the muscle structure. I don't mm -hmm. really know what's called that, but Yeah, it's that's different. what's weird. When you look at it up close, you definitely see the sculpt in this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can definitely see the sculpt in this one. Right. Like, the hands. Yeah, see, like, back it. here and the shoulder blades and area and mm -hmm. stuff. That's cool. That's like really, this. really cool. Yeah, it is a little heavier than this one. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. This one feels pretty heavy, too, because it's a solid chunk. Um, yeah. But I think the most important thing to think about when you buy two of these is, are, are they sticking with scale? Because you can mm. get lost pretty quickly in the face. Like, one yeah. face will be way bigger than the other. True. And then that can throw off your entire collection. But, I think but we only have two good. so far. We only have two so far. So, it's you know, we can't match anything else. But so far... These two, they're mm -hmm. keeping the scale in the face. So yeah. that's good. That's really, really good. I cannot wait for this line to expand. This is the thing. I haven't been this this excited for DC collectible stuff, like a, a new line coming out in a while. I just think this is going to look fantastic on a shelf. Like I all think the they're cool. Ones. They're cooler than I had anticipated, although the mouse creeped me out. But <laughs> I like them. I think they're interesting. I think that they're they're a good size, like you've said several times. Just because they're not going to be these monsters like the giant joker behind yeah. me that takes up an entire Or we shelf. have real busts over... You can't see right. them right now. I'll take a picture. You can throw it in. We have real busts over yeah. a real bust that, that's big. Mm -hmm. And I can only put you know a few of those in the collection right. without it getting and too big. And this, you could fit several of them on a shelf where like we would have those big busts. And it really doesn't take up as much space. The so thing, I like that aspect the, of the it. The thing I like about these... I love collecting the Batman black and whites because it's different interpretations from different artists. Different yeah. Batmans. And you just get... An array of what's been out there over the mm -hmm. years. It's not just that normal prototypical Batman you see. Right, you get to see creative freedom, which yeah. I like. And this is just a zoomed in version of that, where we get to really see maybe the most important thing on Batman, which is his cowl. Mm -hmm. So we can go across generations in Batman and just do the cowl. And I think that that is so cool. I think so too. That is so cool. So I'm not really a bust collector, but. Yeah. I know, when you told me you got these, I was kind of shocked, so. <laughs> but they're the, cool, I like them. Welcome to the club now, so yeah. We'll throw a link down below if you guys want to check them out. Um, again, I am very excited about this line. I cannot mm -hmm. wait for this thing to I'm expand. much more excited than I was when we first started this video. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so let us know down below what you think of these. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.